Hello everybody, it's Andrea and I'm here with another edition of And It Starts Like This. Today's book is a fantasy called Osmo Unknown and the Eight Penny Woods. Osmo Unknown was written by Catherine Valente. Do you know the perfect kid for a fantasy novel? Well, maybe they'll like this one. First things first. I'm going to tell you a story. It's a rather strange, wild, grand story. In fact, it is a fairy tale. Now, now, no groaning. You are absolutely not too grown up for fairy tales. Nobody is. The kind of people who think fairy tales are frilly or silly or simple are the ones most likely to get eaten by a witch before next weekend. But I suspect you don't really mind any sort of thing being grand or strange or wild, as long as it is also exciting since you are so grand and strange and wild yourself. That's why I have chosen this story specifically for you and why I have chosen you specially for this story. When I woke up this morning, I did not even take time to pour my coffee. I knew that you were out there even if you didn't know it. You were waiting for this exact story to find you at this exact moment. There is no time at all to waste, even for coffee, when a story has found its person. I'm so glad we have found each other. It was a near thing, too. There were so many other books in the shop that you or your uncle or your mother or Father Christmas might have chosen. The story was very worried that you might miss each other. Why it could have easily ended up in the hands of the wrong sort, who wouldn't take good care of it the way you will. No one else would understand it like you. No one else would be brave enough to listen to the scary bits without hiding behind the bed. No one else would keep it a secret. And it must be kept secret. Now, we have made a bargain, you and I. It started when you opened the front cover of this book, and it will never end, not even when you have closed the back cover. No take backs. We are conspirators now. Once you've heard it all, from top to bottom, down to the very last scrap of fur and coppery scale, you will protect the secret at the heart of this story as I have. You must tell it only to others like you who can be trusted. Now, I shall have to insist on a promise. If you do not promise, you must not turn the page. You must put this book away and never look at it again. I'm afraid I am quite serious. I simply can't take the risk. Not on my account, of course. I'm in no danger. I already know how everything sorts itself out. But it is only fair to warn you that there is an explosion at the end of this book. A completely staggering, ferocious explosion. So staggering and so ferocious that uh, if I m have made a mistake and you are a cruel or a greedy or small-minded or, worst of all, indifferent human be person, I am not at all sure you will survive it. So you see, this is very serious business indeed. This book may look sweet and whimsical and a bit funny, but the truth is, it's quite dangerous. That's why I wouldn't share it with just anybody. It wouldn't be safe. Now, raise your hand and repeat after me. No, 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 that won't do. You must say it out loud. No matter how silly it makes you feel, I shall wait until I see your hand up. Grown-ups, too. No one is excused. If you don't say the words, I must ask you to close this book at once and put it away at the bottom of your closet. 
or return it to the library, and go read something nice and breezy, with no magic or secrets or monsters or hungry dark woods in it. Are you still here? Ah, very good. Now, say, I, say your name, do very sincerely and most vigorously swear that I, being a friend to all things wild and fierce, shall never tell anyone what I know about the quidnuncs unless I am 100% completely and cross my heart certain that they are, like me, the very best sort of person. The kind of person who will stand back to back with me when fearful winds come, who always look up at the moon at night and not only straight ahead of them, who cannot help but let the dog in the back door when it's cold out, even though they were specifically told not to several times. The rare and special type of person who can be trusted to keep the promise also. Yours very truly, say your name again. There. It's done. I knew I chose the right human being for this story out of all the millions and billions. Now, we will be linked forever, just like the little village and the great big woods I am about to introduce you to. That's one of the things that secrets do best. If you share a secret, you share your life. I'm so very glad we met. Let's begin. Osmo Unknown in the Eight Penny Woods, waiting here for that perfect person.